Hey guys, we are live. It's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, and it is Friday. It's Friday. Yay, it's Friday. Hopefully everybody can hear me. I have a brand new microphone, and I think it's going to work great. I think it's going to work really well. Can let me know if you can hear me. I just want to make sure. I've kind of got, like, let me move this a little bit. There we go. Kind of got a little bit of a new setup. Everything's good. Yay, Critical Dom. Hello, Robaj and Panther. Panther for Reese. Hello, welcome everybody. We are going to be painting today. We're going to do Work in Progress Friday, which you get to post all of your cool miniature projects that you're working on or any kind of um, project or hobby that you'd like to share. It could be like the pear tart that you made or the cats that you have. I mean, anything that makes us feel happy. I want you to post it. If you've got pictures of your grandkids, 
pictures of your kids, anything you want, anything. It's work in progress. Well, just I don't know why we call it work in progress. We we, could sh we should call it show and tell. We should call it show and tell. That's what we should call it. There you go. Show and tell or get CNC on your latest creative endeavor. Post your photos in the hashtag live image gallery on the Discord, and Luminous just put it in the chat there for you so you can take a look at it. Yeah, it is a good community, isn't it? We really enjoy it, and I really do think having Whip Fridays has really helped us kind of like get to know each other a little bit, and I like that. I really like getting to know all of you. Hello, Lamunas, how are you? Good, good, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm gonna flip over. Okay, I got where I whip Friday. I've got some palette here. I've got our model. I've been working a little bit on his face. You can see he's a grumpy boy. And I worked on his face, and I'm sorry that I didn't save that for you guys, but sometimes that kind of detail work is just best not done on stream. And I did, we did do almost the entire body of the horse live on stream before, and I think you guys got a lot out of that. I did add some glazes, and I'm going to go ahead and maybe show you those glazes that I've added, just so you can get a better idea of what I've done. Hi, Jamie G. How are you? So I'm going to go ahead and prep my palette real quick. I'm going to show you guys. So just so you know, I do have these palettes for sale if you live in North America, and that includes Canada, the U.S., and Mexico, obviously. Um, I can't really ship them overseas, and it doesn't make sense to, miss it, to ship them overseas because it's going to be cheaper for you to get them from Red Grass Games. So here, I want to show you. Can you see how there's like little wrinkles? I want to try to get most of those out. The paper itself is not wet, but the edges. I do wet the edges to keep keep it down. But I'm going to try to keep the, the paper as smooth as I can to keep the surface tension as nice as possible so that the water is on the palette use a piece of plastic card. That's a good idea. Do I have anything like that? That's a look. That's a really good idea. Hmm. I don't think I have a piece of plastic card. Wait, I have I have a card I can use. Oh, look at that. Lamunas, you are so smart. Okay, so it's like a playing card I'm using. That works too. That is a very awesome idea. Wow. All right. Lamunas, you get a point. <laughs> You've watched a person or two. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's funny. All right. So I've got my palette ready. I am going to be working on the back of the skin tone. So here is the first layer of what we've gotten done so far. And um, so this is only step two in when I'm working on skin tone. So we started out with our zenithal, well actually we started out with gray priming, didn't we? I think we started out with gray and then I just put green over it and in the crevices. Did I do that? I'm trying to remember. Oh no, no, no. We used, we used the skin tone um, light flesh primer is what we used. But we kind of sort of zenithaled it with the gray that what, no it didn't have any primer, did it? I am yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. And then we used, I think we used this on his horns as well. I'm trying to, does anybody remember what I did? <laughs> Either way, we had the green. It looks like this. And this is kind of the step one. And now this is step two where I'm starting to glaze and layer the flesh colors over the top. So I'm going to be using these artist colors Ah. and I've been using some Procrel as well. This is about the same color as the Procrel, I believe. I'll have to compare it. I like the artist colors because they're really smooth. You don't, you came in late and you'd already done most of it. That's okay. That's fine, fine, fine. Um, just going to put a little bit of red ochre in here. I think that'll be good. Just a little, a little bit. I'm going to put the green on my palette as well. I'm going to stick with this camo green from Progrel. 
although I kind of want to, you know what, I'm not, I'm lying. I'm going to get back into my artist acrylics because I spent a gosh darn amount of money on these and I am going to continue to use them. So, oh, there goes my mic. Whoops. Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to get out these colors that I think I'm going to use. Ah, da, 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 da. I'm just getting out my primaries because those are my adjusters, my white. Whenever you're using artist acrylics, they really need to have a giant bottle of white. Oh, there's my moss. This is like moss green. That's perfect. Okay, I think I've got everything except for that color. Uh, Naples yellow is awesome. Okay. Good enough for now. We might end up at using every color in the box. We'll see. Hopefully not. Try to use a limited palette. Hi, Rumble. How are you? You need to lurk while you do a pub quiz. <laughs> okay. That's totally fine. Uh-oh. All righty. You bought some two paved tubes of paint. Awesome, you can't wait to try them. That's awesome. So not all two paints will go through an airbrush. I'm just telling you now. Um, well, they will, some of them. I guess I don't, I don't really know if all two, but I know that these two paints will. So I'm just telling you. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this green on the palette because I know I'm gonna probably wanna use that. Ooh, that is not the color of green I want. I want an olive green, but one that is way less saturated. That is, that looks nothing like that label. In fact, we're gonna do this because that way I know what I'm getting from now on. How strange. Yeah, that's why I like to mark a, mark a cap so I know. So that's not at all. Okay, go back in the box. I'm gonna set that one aside. We can always desaturate it, I guess, with a little bit of ochre or something to make it more of an olive. Just see if I already have an olive green. I think I do. That might work. To burnt tostada, that might work also. Nope, okay, let's try that. Watch this not be anything like, oh, this suit, so this says olive green, which is actually what I what I want. Let's see if it is an olive green. And it is, it's a beautiful olive green. All right, I like to use olive green on my skin because it, it creates a really nice desaturated sh shadow that's kind of neutral. All right, and I'm gonna use a brush. Which brush should I use? Let's go ahead. I'm going to use one of my brand new Kalinsky Raphael 4804. That's what I'm going to use. And I got my little pot of water. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to show you here how I got this level. First, before I even do that, I need to check to see. I think this is a little bit more orangey than this other color down here. Let's just try it out. I'm gonna put these two side by side and test. Yeah, oh yeah, that's way more orangey. So, let's compare. Okay, here's here's the color I've been using. Just so you know, that is the Shadow Flesh from Pro Curl. And this is, what is this one called? Pink Flesh. And it is it is more pink. In fact, it is a lot more pink. So we'll use that as a mid-tone and we'll not use that to start out with. Mid-tone? Yeah. Mid-tone, mid highlight-ish, whatever. We'll put more of the shadow flesh on the palette. So the idea with my flesh tones is I start out with this kind of green, desaturated base here, right? And then I'm going to gradually build up my colors with a dark, a medium, and a light flesh color. You can watch my video, the uh, Flower Witch video that I have on YouTube if you wanna get a more in-depth taste of that. All right, 
Hi, McLeod. It is show she time. Hi, Nicholas. It's going good. I'm taking my glasses off, exclamation point, glasses off. So now I'm gonna start painting. I'm thinning this out, and I wanna show you how much I'm gonna thin this. So somewhere between this and this. So like, it's pretty, pretty glazy, right? And I might use more and I might use less, but I'm going to keep it loose and, and smooth. There we go. All right, yep, glasses are off. All right, oops, his foot is in the water. So I'm gonna start on the apex of the muscle and just kind of build it up so that the ball of paint, just like that, is gonna end up on the top of that muscle. So like, for instance, on this, on this muscle group here, can you see this? This is where the apex of that muscle is. So when I'm pulling the paint, see how I'm glazing it? Pulling the paint, when I pick the brush up, it, it leaves that little ball of paint right there. And then I can just work it around and I'm getting a little bit in my shadow there. I don't want that, it's okay. See right here, I don't want as much. Okay, and then when I get my first little layer on there, let it dry. Let it dry, don't touch it. If you come back into it, you're gonna end up possibly making a little hole. See, I'll, I'll even demonstrate how I make a hole in my paint. So I'm painting it and I'm painting it, and there, there's a hole. Can you see that? And now in order to fix that, which is a little trickier, I have to go back and I have to build up that and see it's a way harder so i recommend that if you do make a hole in your paint just stop let it dry completely otherwise you're going to have like a little tea stain line i'm just going to try to wiggle this completely out since so what happens when you make that hole is some of the paint is starting to dry and some of it's not and that's why it makes that like tea stain so see now this shoulder blade whatever this muscle is. Somebody in this channel knows what these muscles are, right? No touching. <laughs> Hi, Painting Cricks. You're here to partay. Yay. We're going to do work, work in progress days. Did you make any tarts or anything this week? Okay. So this, this muscle group is now done. The first layer, and it's thin layer. And if I want to add another layer and then I'm going back so I, I make it wider this time right but that that first layer is already on there so it's creating these filters and I'm pushing it back again toward the top of that muscle and now I'm gonna let that dry keep just glazing now this part here that we made the hole I'm just going to fix it by making that a thin layer to try to even everything out, okay? Now, notice that there's still a little bit of green in the shadows. You don't want too much, but you want a little bit. By the way, guys, I forgot to at tell you, I am commissioning a new musician to get to make some more um, pretty much some chill tracks for us. I don't know for sure if they'll be EDM or what. He's also thinking about some lo-fi. Anyway, I'm really excited because he's a really good artist. And, oh, there's a big cat hair piece. See, I don't want that. Pull this around. Get that cat hair out. There we go. I got it this time. Probably because... Why is there so much lint? Ah. Okay. Just going to bring this out over this little muscle group as best as I can. And I'm going to just make thin that out because I'm struggling with it right now. So, there. Let it be. Let it be. You can always add more layers, but you cannot take it away. 
So, all right, now I'm gonna put some more pigment on my palette. See how we've got this one started? I need to thin that a little bit with some water. I'm only using water right now. Water is my only medium. Okay, and I am blotting my brush so I can control the amount of, of water and pigment that is in it. And I'm just moving that around so I get the right consistency. Next and Minis, thank you for your awesome subscription. One to go, that's right. 36 months will be next month, that's crazy. 36 months, is that three years? Is that really three years? Ah, has it been that long? Oh my gosh, so amazing, Nixton and Minis. Let's give some mad hype for that. That's fantastic. All right, there we go, Nixton. Thank you so much. So your subscription money um, and donations, in fact, go toward helping the channel. And we're going to be doing a bunch of new music soon for the for the channel. I'm not sure my kids would thank me for putting up photos. Oh, you don't have to put up. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> post the bun, Spear. Don't post the kids. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so we want to preserve children's privacy, right? I wish I knew you were about three years ago. I wish I knew you were about three years ago. <laughs> Hi, Rebel Star Raider. Radar, how are you doing? And Mikey B is here as well. Thank you for coming by. All right, I'm gonna get some painting done. See, I'm pulling that over that large muscle group because it doesn't matter right now if we're defining each little tiny piece of it at this point. But the apex is right about there. So I'm pulling that paint and glazing that and same thing with this little group right here, putting it, pulling it back toward that spot. See how that's working? Do another layer on this one. And I'm kind of using my little mopping brush action to, to it's like, I don't know how to like I'm trying to describe how how I'm putting on the color it's it's like this it's like I'm blushing it on if that makes sense maybe it doesn't make sense sweeping it on maybe is the right word I don't know but I'm using a specific brush stroke when I'm trying to do that because that's how I get things to look so nice. All right. Finding little pieces of lint still. And I'm going to be turning this model a little bit so that I can get the angles I need. Does anybody know if there are centaurs in Skyrim? I want there. I want there to be. Centaurs are Greek, though, so maybe there isn't any because the North mythology isn't Greek. There's plenty of giants for sure, and horses. All right. So, so you can see by focusing my attention on the volumes of the muscle the green is there but it's not super prominent right hopefully my table's not shaking no that's what mods are for that's a good idea somebody should make a centaur mod all right this piece right here Just 
following the muscles around. This guy has an extremely muscular back. So yeah, so see now I'm doing a smaller layer right here over this part of the muscle. And you can see it's getting more and more opaque every time we add a new little layer, right? Skyrim horses are mad the way they attack the dragons. I know, I love it. Although a bear will mess a horse up. I kept, my horse kept dying every time a bear would attack me and I had to keep, keep going back and saving it and then leave my horse behind and then go back and, you know, attack the bear. They're not too hard for me to attack, but they, the horses just die really quick to a bear. Okay, so this is one of those sections where I got a lot of water going on, so I will blot it. See, I'm going to put my... You, you, you will see how much I blot my brushes, because I, I paint like a watercolor. So I'm mopping it up, the excess, blot it, and then I can mop it again. And then now it's easier to smooth, because there's not as much water going all over the place now. See, we're making really fast headway and it's starting to look, the back is starting to look like the front. I need like a monocle so that I can look at my screen more easy. <laughs> All right, this is the tricky part because I want to transition and I'm going to add a little bit of green and a little bit of my ochre in here, just a little bit so that I can transition from the skin color into the horse color gently yeah that's that's almost perfect right there all right there's two i need to thin that out so i'm actually thinning it out on on the model and i'm Going over all of the little brush strokes that I can see and kind of trying to take those out. This is where you need to have your blending skills down. It's all about the blending when it comes to the skin, you know? So. Oops. If we make the, the layers thin enough, they dry pretty fast. Okay. Now, notice that I'm leaving a lot more green up in underneath the arm, and that's, that's I'm going to actually add a little smidge of green in here. That's because that's shadowed, and anywhere I'm seeing, like, too much mix, you know, too much of a mix here, where it's I'm going to add a little green to it to just feather out that shadow a little bit better. I don't want the green to be super prominent. So I've seen people try to mimic this and they end up with all this like green patches and it's like, did you not see what I was doing? You get the idea, but you're just doing the idea. You're not actually doing what I was doing. That's what I'm thinking in my head when I see that. Like, copy me. Copy me. This is a, one of the cases where it's definitely okay to copy. Okay, I'm blotting it a lot because the, there's a lot of water going on here. Lots. Trying to get these muscle groups smooth. And I feel like I need more peach right there. Yeah, he's starting to look like a man horse. Man, whore, whatever. <laughs> All right, and then there is a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit of green to that down in there, just a smidge, because this area right here is not real well blended. And sometimes I can add 
a little opacity is the word I'm looking for. Okay, that looks good to me. Good. All right, I need to set him down for a second so I can read chat. Hi, Dr. Pandateka. Shadowmere is the best horse from Skyrim. Oh, okay. How do I get that? I just found Riften and this, and I found the quest for the Dark Brotherhood. I don't have Shadowmere, but I do have it. I have that first horse that you get over in White Run. White Run. <laughs> You've not come across my little pony. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh, it's a it's a My Little Pony's a mod. That's crazy. That is a little silly. Okay. See how I'm keeping my glazes thin. Thin, thin, thin. And the good thing is that this particular paint does not split too much. Or at all. There we go. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to get in here on his head because I'm having all kinds of issues with his. There we go. It was like way too green before. There. That already looks better on his head. Now in some instances, if I have a thin amount, you know, I can go ahead still and let a little bit settle into the crevice, but not on a deep, not on a deep uh, crevice. I don't want, I don't want it to settle into a deep crevice, but on a shallow one, it can, because obviously that's not going to have as heavy shadows, right? I can already tell that the intensity of this paint job is going to mean that I'm going to be streaming a little bit less today because I can already feel it in my back. This kind of glazing and stuff doesn't, doesn't work well in a live stream because I'm having to, I'm having to hold it under the camera. That's the main reason I can't adjust things. Excalibur Games, thank you so much for the follow. Avrock is best. Where do I get these horses? Can, are they all through quests or can you get some of them from stables? We're talking about Skyrim. For those of you who just joined us, I just started playing and it's really fun and I'm loving it. Like I said, I just found Riv, Riv, Rifkin, Rifton, Rifton. I found Rifton, the th where the Thieves Guild is. My goal is to try to join the Thieves Guild. And I, it's really hard because I haven't been working on any of my thieving skills. And it's frustrating because um, in order to join the Thieves Guild, you need to be able to like pick locks really well, which I think those are, my lock picking is the best skill, but I don't sneak much. You know, it's just a, it's frustrating. I need to, I should, I should start over and just do a straight up thief and not worry about anything else. All right, so because, notice that there is green, but I'm going and filling it in on an arm because arms don't have tons of shadows in, in every little crevice. So that first layer is not going to have a ton of greens, right? We're making good headway though. Once I get this arm done, he'll be ready. Well, in the shoulder rather. Let me get in here. Whoops. I can't get in. All right. All 
All right, give me a second. I'm gonna check chat in a minute. There we go. There we go. Getting the color on there. It just wasn't sticking for some reason and I was getting frustrated. Okay, we need more color on his head again. That layer just didn't wanna stay. Okay. Oi, my neck. This is one of those models where I kind of wish I would have airbrushed some more of his skin. And I kind of could, but I already did his face and I don't, I want it to all kind of match. I'm trying to go through this a little quick so that I can get to the next spot for you guys. Okay. There we go. Awesome. That hand looks really good. I just need to fill in any cracks real quick. There we go. All right, I'm gonna set him down. I'm gonna do lots of stretching in this, guys, so. Oh. I'm already cracking my back. Abrak is the demon horse in the Soul Cairn part of the Dawn Guard. I haven't joined the Dawn Guard. I don't know, is it worth joining the Dawn Guard? I don't really want to. Is Twitch being borky for everyone? Twitch has been having problems off and on for a few days. So I don't know. Is anyone else having issues? <coughs> Water's going down the wrong pipe. <coughs> the Dawn Guard quests are fun. Really? I'm kind of in the middle of two quests that I'm interested in. I'm helping Fiona from the Blades, and I'm, I'm trying to get in with the Thieves Guild. Twitch seems good for you. <coughs> I am I am using Flat Shadow Flesh Dora. Shadow Flesh is the main color that I'm using right now. Whoa, did we get it? We got a host from Mark. Oh, Maharoon just raided us. Oh my gosh. Mad love to Maharoon. How are you? <coughs> Pardon me while I, let me take a drink again, because. Hi, Maha. How are you doing? How's everybody from Maha's channel? Watashi no kawaii. Kawaii emote. Emotu-chan, he's speaking Japanese to her. Drink that water, yes. Masaguita. That's better, now I feel it. All right, let's take a look. Look, Maha, this is what we're working on, isn't he beautiful? I got lots to do. The horse part. <coughs> yeah, there it goes again. <coughs> Hold on, let me mute myself and give myself a good cough. Hold on, I'm going to mute. There we go. Now my nose is running. But there we go. Yes, it came out really nice, didn't it? I really like it. I want to do... I really want to make him a pinto. Lovely hair. Lovely hair. My hair? Aw, thank you. Mike said my hair was, was nice, too. I'm waterboarding myself. <laughs> I'm I'm choking on my own spit. <laughs> Sometimes I'm tr I'm trying to be so careful about not um not like glugging on, you know, glugging down water on stream that I actually end up going, you know, going down the wrong pipe. All right, have a good one, Mikey B. Thanks for stopping by. 
Oh, I just noticed this, this little blurb. Okay, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how the, this was mostly airbrush. We did some hoof stuff with the, uh, with the regular brush. And yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really happy with how, how that came out. It makes me want to paint some other model horses. There's a whole market for it. You never know. Maybe, maybe I'll get into that. We'll see. All right. I need to, okay. I think this shoulder needs to be a little worked on. It's not very blended. I'm going to mix a little bit of green with it. Cause it's just there. That's better. Once we get the shoulder blended better, then we can move on to the next step. Oh, Maha, you're the per per perfect person to ask. So I started the Thieves Guild quests, and I'm also working with uh, Daph Delphine on the Blade quests, which I really like those. I think those are a lot of fun. Um... <clears throat> And I wanted to know if you've ever done the, all the Thieves Guild quests or not, and if you know much about that. Right now, my thief capabilities are not that great, which is sad because I really, really wanted to play a thief. All right, I'm trying to add a little bit of, there we go, now it's sticking. Okay, so we're building up his, his face so that it's not quite so green. That already did a lot, damn. Oh, Rubbish says he might have a horse coming in. Oh, that's cool. The horse painters seem to like using pastels for shading. Interesting. Pastels. Oh, pastel. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Pastel. Um, I've done that before, actually. I should, I should try that. I'll have to watch some of the horse painter videos on YouTube. I have a whole bunch of pastels somewhere too. I think we need as painters and modelers to, you know, get out of our comfort zone, try other things, try other types of models so that we learn new things, bring those techniques back to the hobby. Yay, we got a new follower. Cement, wait. Sentimental Minis. Oh, that's a cute name. How are you? Sentimental minis. All right. We're building up. Everybody loves the skin tones, right? It's my jam. Covering up more of that green so we have less of it. But I'm going to go ahead and add a little green in here just to blend things. There we go. All right. This, this hand isn't quite there yet. So can you see this hand? How messed up that looks? Uh, hmm. Before I even get in there, I need to shade that down with something brown or something. Give me a second. Sentimental Mini says, hello, thank you. I'm doing good. This guy looks super cool for now. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we've been working on it. We did the first part of him um, on our last stream, and now I'm going to have to do something. I got a little bit of, I might have to airbrush that because I want to cover that up. Or maybe I'll make it, when you make a mistake, make it look like you did it on purpose, or maybe I'll put some, oh, you know what? When I do the pinto markings, I'll do that. Yeah, he's a he's like a bay. Right now he's a bay, but he's going to be a pinto. I think Kalana, welcome. Thank you for following. 
Hello. Lemon says, my technique of choice is slather paint on my forehead and headbutt the miniature. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. All right, so I, I need to get in here and do all of this grunge work back here. And then if you can see this, I've already done a good amount on his hand, but not the underside of his arm yet. In fact, let's do that right now. We can, we can leave some of that green, but not all of it. Oh, let me take my glasses off again. When I have my glasses off, do, um, do exclamation point glasses off in the, in the chat so that people know that if in order to get my attention, you're going to have to do add Shoshi's minis. There we go. There we go. That actually is looking good already. Hmm. Wrap that around. And I don't want that armpit green. I'm going to add a little. Mm, where's my browns? Hold on. Hold on. Burnt sienna umber. I love this color. I'm going to add a little bit of this on my palette. It's a beautiful rich chestnutty color brown and we use this on his um, horse flesh horse flesh okay i'm gonna mix this with my flesh tone over here so it's not 100 percent strong there we go and i'm just putting that into his armpit to give myself shadow and then i'm kind of using the water of the brush to, to glaze it out. See, now it blends with the rest, with the rest of it. I can put some of that brown into the crevices of other things. And I'm just, now I'm going around, I'm just smoothing out everything so there's no tea stain line okay. it's gonna be there a little bit Okay, smoothing it out over everything with a mopping kind of action. There's more water in my brush right now than there is paint. So that is thinning out everything and smoothing it. Okay, but now you see why I have kind of a watercolor style is because I do paint that way. All right, with the brown again, down into the back where the super deep crevices, what the brown does is it kind of kills that green a little bit, neutralizes it, and just makes it into a, di a nice dark shadow instead of green. And again, I'm smoothing everything so that we don't get those teas, tea stain marks. hide marks, tea stain, whatever you want to call it. They're the same thing. You have a female centaur and you're thinking of doing a California blonde Palomino. That sounds beautiful. That would be really, really cool. Get lots of um, references, right? Get lots of references of both blondes and Palominos. See how you would merge those two. Yeah, there we go. So I'm using just, like I said, thin, thin, thin amounts of paint. Okay. Now, right here where I'm at, <clears throat> I'm looking at my, uh, this pink flesh is not kind of what I want. I'm gonna see what this 
light skin will do. And I may just mix my own. See, that's really pink, like almost like an elf skin. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this on my palette, but I don't think I think I'm just gonna mix my own flesh. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna take some yellow ochre. I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of stuff around on my desk first. Because I'm a slob and I don't have my glasses on. Anyway, I'm gonna take some yellow ochre, write that, and I'm gonna take some, do I have some white? I'm gonna take a little bit of, no, I don't think white, I think white is too strong. So I'm gonna use this, that flesh color again. Let's do that. There's, there's a color. I'm gonna add a little yellow ochre and then a little bit of this raw orangey color there. That's a pretty color. So I mixed, I mixed some of that light flesh color right here with a little bit of this orangey and a little bit of this ochre. And that's, that's how you get it. I didn't want to use a white. You could use a white, but I think white would be a little too intense. So I wanted to use something that is already light. All right, let's try this. And we can add our base color to it as well. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start with something that I know is going to be bright. Like this muscle right here is going to be bright because the, the sunlight is hitting it really nice. And I'm being a lot more careful and I'm also getting a lot smaller with my, with my color, smaller highlights, right? We're building up. Oh no, what happened? Did I, I lost, here we go. All right. So that, that helps. And then same thing with this one. This is smaller. Let's use a little bit more paint and put that in the middle there. And then we're going to rinse the brush. And then I'm going to take the wet brush without the paint on it and just blend that around the edges and then leave it. When I'm lifting the paint, then I'm leaving that little ball of paint in the middle of the, of the apex of that muscle. See that? Sometimes I talk too much and then I'm not getting the effect I want. There's a fine line. Sometimes I need to just, I need to just lose myself and just paint. Okay. So without explaining what I'm doing, just watch what I'm doing. By the way, guys, do exclamation point whip trips. I want people to be getting ready and putting your putting your photos in whip trips. Don't wait till the last minute. That way, if you have to leave or something, we still get to see your awesome stuff. Put them in whip trips now. Exclamation point whip trip is the name of the command. And you can see right away that that muscle is starting to gain a volume. See? Especially when you hold it back and you squint at it a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit more of that base color sometimes where I want it to be darker. At this point, there's still quite a lot of little brush strokes and stuff. That's okay. That I wanted to be smaller. So if I need to pick up a little pigment, rinse, blot, pick it up, rinse, blot, repeat. And that helps me smooth out and like thin out that, that edge. So it's not quite so, so much pigment. I'm using this um, flesh instead of, because if I, I could use ivory, but then again, it would be a different color. And this is a, this is kind of a perfect color. Commands are kind of failing. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me try it. See if it works. It's not oil paints, Panther Fabrice. It is um, acrylic tubes, tube acrylics. 
acrylic paint, artist color. Um, here, let's try this. Maybe it will do if I do it. There we go. Somebody grab that, copy and paste it. Copy and paste that, and so that way that you don't have to use the command. <laughs> you already did. Awesome. Thank you, Lamunas. All right, so you can see how that is looking more natural. Let's do it again. And now, from my eyeball, though, it's it's a little bit on the chalky side, and I'm going to show you how how I get rid of that chalkiness in a minute. Okay. So you need just one of those little volumes. I'm going back and forth between colors sometimes to get the nuances. Because skin is not one color. Sorry, I don't mean to yell. But skin is not one color. <laughs> skin is not one color. I want you to say that three times fast. Say that three times. Okay. That needs to dry. Whew. He's getting there. He's starting. I'm, I'm, I've got to connect this little divot because for whatever reason. Now, he's got very defined muscles. I don't want them to look quite that defined. So I'm going to just blend those all together for a minute. Better. That's much better. Okay. So you can see it's starting to look more and more like a skin. We never did do his hands, did we? I feel my hand, so my hand is sweating. I'm gonna put a glove on. I don't wanna sweat on the mini because also my oils will get on the paint, on the model and it could end up affecting the paint job and I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna wear a glove. Skin is not one color. Skin is not one color. Skin with color with a U. <laughs> I'm about to paint the King of Death Mountain Man. What color should, would you use? Mountain Man, I would use grays and like here, kind of like this kind of color for a shadow. This purpley color. This is like a purpley gray. And then there's another color that I would definitely use. Where is it? That's black. Where's my color? This color. It's called walnut, or it's called wood, but it's this gorgeous, like, pasty, beautiful brown gray. Oh, Kingdom Death has a new model up. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I gotta go buy some Kingdom Death. You're gonna see me do, get my crack addiction here. Hold on. Lost Easter sale. Kingdom Death. Guys, I'm such a crack addict when it comes to it. Okay. Oh, I should have just gone straight to the shop. There we go. Thank you for telling me. Oh, what? The intimacy couple? I have to get that. Oh my God, they're amazing. I'm gonna get that. Okay. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. King's Coins, $50. Oh, that's like, a, what is it? When it's safe to open the Riku, the next sale will only accept King's Coins. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm gonna freaking buy two because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. 
So they have these things called King's Coins, and it says it gives you the privilege of a king. So like the next time they have a sale, they're, the first 24 hours are only going to accept King's Coins. They know how to market like nobody's business. All right, everything else, I'm looking, card sleeves. Ooh, gear card sleeves and standard card sleeves. I've got those. Where's the other new model? Is that it? I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Okay, that's ha that makes me happy. I could deal with that. Okay, that's it, good. Okay, I'm gonna buy that. That's still a good chunk of money. Did I get them all? Yes. All right, check out. Whoop. You bought the Day High, Death High Great Intimacy? Nice, I don't know, if, I don't think I did. But either way, I'm good. I don't care about the gray that much. Normally, I don't buy those resin models at all, but I like the Intimacy one a lot. It's really, really cute. See all the high school. Okay. Checking out. You just get such a rush. Huh. $140, damn. Yep, ship to that. Death high it is. You don't like the king. I, you don't like. I don't like it either. But I'm. I'm a sucker. I am a sucker. I know there's going to be loads of complaining on the Kingdom Death Night by Lantern's Night by Lantern's Night um, by Lantern's Light by Lantern's Light Facebook group. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm all set. Your order's being processed. We're going to go through. Yay, I got it. <laughs> I don't either. No refunds and minis cost less than $50. What happens to $10? They're going to make it so that stuff isn't even. I know that. They'll, I mean, what else are they going to do? Just pocket your money? I mean, it'll go to shipping. It'll go to whatever. It'll work. It'll work out. It'll act like um, the points credits on Creature Caster. You know, and they they do that on Creature Caster too. So, in fact, they probably even got the idea from Creature Caster. Congrats on getting the couple. Thank you, Evil Halfling. I'm sure. I don't understand anything what's going on, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Panther for Reese. So, Kingdom Death is one of my favorite companies right now. It's my favorite game at all right now, and they just had a little sale, and they have not had a sale in a few months because of the uh, lockdown, and one of the things that they put up were the models that they're able to print in their own store, and then they put these coins that's like a gift certificate, basically, but it's like points. It's kind of like points, and um, you can spend them the next time they have a sale. Only the people who bought the coins are going to be able to use be able to buy anything the first 24 hours of the sale. So that means you're basically helping Kingdom Death get by this month by giving them some revenue. And in a exchange, you get basically exclusive first dibs. And I think that's pretty, I think that's actually pretty good, guys. I think that's not a bad thing. It sucks because I want to spend... 50 euros for only a coin thingy, but you want this, the card pack. <laughs> yeah. Rubbish says, I want it to work, but only downside is that scalpers are going to be all over the coins as it gives them exclusivity. Right. You can get a $500 coin if you want. But maybe this, they're still going to limit things, I think. I don't know how they're going to use that. Maybe. Yeah, I bet they're hurting for cash too. I don't know. I mean, everybody is going to be, everybody, everybody is like worried about money right now. I'm worried about money right now, you know? I just spent too much money on something. That's why I'm worried about money right now. I'm dumb. And I also just commissioned for the, for the live stream. I just spent another $300. Um commissioning songs for this live stream so you're gonna get six new songs which is really awesome but I'm gonna have to put up my donation 
I know there's a five hundred dollar, one hundred dollar, and fifty dollar. I just bought one fifty dollar because I, I don't care. You don't have a job, yeah, exactly. Not everybody does. Why did you spend forty-seven pounds on a mini? I spent forty dollars on a mini and one coin. Oh well, we're we're all. That's the thing about um, us. Uh, Fanatics. We're called fanatics because that's what fans is short for. I'm not understanding why ki companies are kick starting Kickstarters right now. I'm not throwing money at stuff. I'm worried at being able to make my bill payments. Right. Well, here's the thing. A lot of these companies that are doing Kickstarters, like that mini studio, like the mini, mini work studios, they, they started that Kickstarter a long time ago and they can't just stop it because of the COVID because they've already sunk so much money into it. They were gonna roll it out during Adepticon, but then Adepticon got canceled. And so they're kind of in a bind. So they're, they're relying on people to help kind of get the word out. Um, yeah, it's hard time for everyone, exactly. Yeah, 90% of the people who are starting Kickstarters right now had this in the works a long time ago. Yeah, but for instance, the Dark Crystal Labyrinth one, they've been talking about that for a long time. A long time. Long time. I think that they were planning on rolling that out for Salute or one of the UK. Um, I think that's that's when they were going to roll that out for that. And then they, they had to go, go through with it anyway. It's the same thing. I'm going to stretch. Uh, okay. Yeah, Salute. When was Salute rubbish? Do you remember when that, because I know that got canceled as well. But a lot, like a lot of people time these Kickstarters to do with these conventions. It will be canceled. When, it, when October? Hmm. Yeah, maybe they kind of had an idea. I don't know. I have a feeling Gen Con's going to get canceled. ReaperCon already did. April 17th. Oh, April. Yeah, so yeah, that's why they did the, that's exactly why they rolled the Kickstarter out now. Because I'll bet you money that they were going to roll that out for Salute. Excel is the NHS Nightingale. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and look at our, I'm going to take another drink of water. Yummy. It's um strawberry kiwi today. Water infused with strawberry and kiwi essence. Zero calories and sweeteners. I am not sponsored by a hint, but I freaking love the water. Do you have to build your model? This model came almost entirely built. The only, p this model um, was really, really nice. It was already, it's got pins in the hooves to protect, protect the, to feet, there's pins in this, this hoof and this hoof, and then it comes with this spear, and that's the only thing I had to glue on. This, and then this is gonna go on like that. Isn't that amazing? Look at this, can you see this? Look at how long that spear is. It's gonna be awesome looking. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna apply that until he's all done. Oh no, yeah, we, I'm sorry, Holds Transistor, we, we blacklisted it so that people wouldn't talk about it so much. I'm sorry, we blast, blacklisted, blacklisted a few virus terms. That's where Salute was going to be. I can only assume the place needs to be a deep cleaned after all this. Oh, oh, whoa, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. No, you don't want to even go in there. Forget that. Blacklisting doesn't, I know it doesn't make it go away, but we thought that when we, so when I first started the blacklist, it was to make it kind of a place for people to escape a little bit, you know? And I think as we're going into it more and more, I think, do you think, all right, I want to take, I'm going to do a poll. Um, this is serious. This is for you guys. I'm going to do a poll. We're going to do two choices. 
one choice is to unblacklist all the words and let people talk about it because maybe you need to talk about it and i want this place to be what you need okay because this is your place or not talk about it because you need to you need to get away so i'm okay with either one and i'm gonna i'm gonna let you choose okay hold on let me make a poll and i I'll, I'll let you decide. Diomedes, thank you for subscribing. Oh my gosh. Give me one second. I got to set this poll up and then here, I'll write Diomedes down now before I forget. I think I I missed somebody too along the lines. Industries. Here we go. Oh, you know what? It's the first. We have to do a giveaway today. Shoot. What am I going to give away? Oh my gosh. Guy means quit following me. <laughs> Hi, Renru. Okay, I'm going to do a poll and then we're going to set up a giveaway. We're also doing Whip Friday today. Okay, hold on here. Let me trash this. Okay. Add a poll. All right, so here's the question. The question is, shall, do you want to keep um, COVID-19 terms blacklisted um, or do you want to be able to talk about it? Okay, this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you those two options. Wait, 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 wait. Option one, I think let's talk about it. And, nope, nope, nope. Sorry. Okay, here, let me do this. I'm going to redo it. Sorry. I'm messing it up. Is command one. And then option two is keep it in a... Um, Now, I just want you guys to know that both of these answers are completely valid for each person. Okay, so be respectful of that. Think about everybody else as well. But I do want to know your opinion. Um, okay. Okay. Option two, there we go. Okay, done. All right, right, I'm going to start the poll and we're going to vote, okay? The poll has opened, do you want to keep COVID-19 ter terms blacklisted or do you want to be able to talk about it? Use one or two to vote. One is if you want to keep it, two, it, I messed that up, two is you need an escape, okay? One is you, you want to talk about it. I'm going to write this down so you guys can get. And then two is I need an escape. There we go. Hopefully that helps everybody. And I'm going to go by majority because again, this is your stream. If you need to change it, change it, rubbish. You can change it back if you voted wrong. One is you want to talk about it. Two, I need an escape. Okay? Yeah, it's not person at all.
yeah, we do need a vaccine holds transistor. Absolutely, I agree. I definitely don't want to go to conventions without it. Without it, I'm not. I'm. I've already planning not to go to any conventions at all. Yeah, please, everybody, vote because this is your stream, and I want you to be comfortable here. So. Vote, vote in the poll, vote one if you want to be able to talk about COVID-19 and be able to have those terms unblacklisted. Two, no, I keep them blacklisted, I need an escape. Which is best for you? You get, you get to decide. Because we've had enough people talk about it that we want to discuss it. We kind of are talking about it a little bit, we just have some of these terms. Hayden Crick says, I want to go to Nova Open and attend Romans class, but can live without it. Yeah. All right. Has everybody voted? I'm going to give you guys about 10 more minutes, 10 more seconds. Nova is canceled. Is Nova canceled? When did it get canceled? I missed that. I missed that completely. Pulse Transistor says, I'm printing a plague deck to rest tomorrow. That is amazing. Pulse Transistor, that, you, need to, you need to share that on our next whip trips, okay? Dan, you have to. Lumina says, it's not like you can't talk about it in general terms. It's just to keep people who haven't been in the stream from interrupting me to talk about my her, her views on it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hi, Jan. How are you doing? Jan, go ahead and vote in the poll. We're voting to either keep the terms about COVID-19 blacklisted, or if you want to talk about it, vote one. If you need an escape, vote two. Because we're going to keep them, keep the terms blacklisted if people vote two. We're going to take them and make it open for everybody. Okay. Evil Halfling, you have to you have to do um, exclamation point vote and then the number. Exclamation point vote and then the number. Some of you got yeah, there you go. Some of you guys might might have missed your votes if you did that wrong. Which is which? So one is you want to be able to talk about it and have everything unblacklisted about the COVID. Two is you need an escape, keep them blacklisted, don't worry about it. Yeah, there you go. No rubbish, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, Lamunus is closer. One talkie, two no talkie. <laughs> All right, we'll give it an even five minutes because we've had the poll open for almost five minutes. About 15 more seconds and then I'm gonna close the poll. This is your last chance to vote. One, talk about it. Two, yeah, I think we're settled. Okay, you got one more vote in there, good. Two, I need an escape. Okay, here we go, closing the poll. All right, you can no longer vote on the poll. Let's complete it and see what happened. Okay, no, I need an escape was the most voted option with 81.25% of the votes. I think technically, let me look at this. I think technically we had like over 10 people voting and there were three people who voted. They wanted to keep it. I think I think we all kind of are sick of it, right? Are we all sick of it? <laughs> I know some people just don't like censorship at all and I get that, I get that too. I'm sorry. You can still kind of talk about it, but just careful of certain terms. It's only certain terms that are bad. Yeah, it's everywhere. All right, let's talk about this awesome model. Boom, boom. Jan, have you seen this? This is the model we've been working on. He's a centaur. And I'm really, really happy with how he's doing. We're, we're building up skin tones at the moment. In fact, I need to get in here and paint his. Yeah, I'm tired too. Yes, giveaway. Thank you, Rubbish. Okay, let me, it is our follower giveaway today. Follower giveaway means you do not need to be subscribed. Did you miss reducing the chalky flesh? 
No, I didn't do that yet. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute, okay? You have trouble with it frequently? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Let me go get the giveaway and I'll be right back. It's for poor people too, nice, yeah, exactly. And um, down here you can see we had our shipping goal. We already made it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So we, we're gonna do a music donation drive next because I'm gonna be paying $300 for this next music donation, or sorry, music for the stream. So we're gonna try to raise some money for that. So pay for that. Um, let me go get the giveaway. I will be right back. All right, and I'm probably gonna get all tied up with my headset. There we go. Too many cords. Okay, I found something cool to give away. Hold on, where is it? I had it. It's never, I can never find things when I need them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What shall I give away? I must have sold it. Oop. Okay, so I'm going to pick something else. Give me one second here. All right, I found it. I found something. Okay, I'm just making sure. So I didn't get a chance to work on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and give away. This is the Twins from Creature Caster. This is, you can um, actually see a copy of this in Genuine Vision's Instagram. He's, he has been working on it. But this is the Twins. So I'm gonna give away this model. Let me see if I can find a picture of it and show it on stream so you guys can see. All right, hold on, let me find the Creature Caster. I know, you want it. <laughs> We want the box of dowel rods, slightly used dowel rods. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> you want my, okay, hold on. This is what Luminous is talking about. So he's, he's wanting, you guys, you guys want me to give away the box of slightly used dowel rods. That's actually a funny gift. You guys want this? <laughs> Oh, genuine link a pic. Yeah, let's let's look at genuine visions picture. He should be a mod. Is he a mod? I think he's a mod. Anyway, this is the box of dowel rods that he wants. Isn't that funny? You really don't need <laughs> I think he's just joking. It is funny. I know it's funny. So but this model is really nice and um <laughs> I'll send you some with your commission. How's that? Okay. You're so funny. <laughs> um, I'm going to look this twins model up so people can see it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to share this on screen. Da, 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 da. Um, okay. Hold on here. It's called Suzerain of Desire is what it's called. It's out of stock right now. And there are in assembly instructions. Oh, this their website is so slow. Dollar Store Kebab Skewers does this trick. Oh, that's a great idea, Jamie G. I'm waiting for caster, Creature Caster to load. Okay, here you go. This is the model here. Urgh. I'm gonna do whip trick. There we go. Do to do. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys this on screen. See if it'll go. There we go. Oopsie. Let me make that bigger. This is the twins. Isn't aren't they awesome? There we go. Do we just get a? What happened? Aw, Ty Love, just subscribed. Thank you so much. You've been lurking and wasn't wasn't subbed. Well, 
Looky, looky, now you have a baby gecko now. Aw, that's so nice. Thank you so much. So yeah, it is a detailed model and you will probably need to use the, um, there's instructions on their blog. You can just Google. So here's the story about them. Um, they don't have a painted one on here yet. But yeah, this is the, um, this is the twins. They're, and they come with, the, the male comes with two faces. He comes with this kind of more human face. And then he also comes with this kind of monster face, which is kind of cool. I like both of them. I think they're both really cool. But that is our giveaway for today. Okay. There we go. Kathy Wobble is also painting one, yes. Well, no pounce hugs you've had in my eye. Oh, that's so nice. Not your drive. Okay, hold on. I'm going to set up the, pull, the, the giveaway. Mm -mm. Now, follower giveaways must be present to win. You must be present. So if you're not in, in the chat, then you will not get to. Okay, let me open this up here. Hold on here. Monthly follower giveaway. There we go. I'm gonna edit this. Drew is an absolute chap. Who is Drew? <laughs> Present arms. <laughs> All right, creature caster um, twins model. Oops, I'm spelling it wrong. One winner will be chosen, must be present to win. Okay, everybody is enabled, must be a follower. Okay, you must be a follower. Let me just make sure that that's right. Yeah, okay. Here we go. This is started, it is started. All right, one winner will be chosen to win a Creature Caster Twins model. Must be present to win. Raffle has started for viewers. Use exclamation point raffle to enter the raffle. And shipping is already paid, so don't worry if you live far away. I can mail it to you. It just might take a long time if you don't live in the U.S. But subscribers get two tickets. Regular people get one. But everybody can enter no matter what. Yeah. Everybody's entering. We're gonna have a lot of people entering this time. It's a great model. It's a beautiful model. <laughs> Ford Fritch, that, I don't think that worked. You have to type exclamation point raffle. That's all you can do. Ford Fritch 42, type exclamation point raffle. Yep, there's no number. Let's try it again. Try it again, Ford Fritch. Exclamation point, there you go. Now you're entered. Yay. Good. We got 36 people entered already, that's good. Not baffle, Diomedes, baffle doesn't work. <laughs> you did that on purpose, waffle, baffle, baffle. <laughs> Oy vey. All right, we're gonna let that go for about an hour and a half. It is currently almost four o'clock. That works out perfect. We'll do it just right before we end the stream, right after we do our whip trips, okay? Whew, it is four o'clock. We can do some more painting. We've got more time for painting. I'm gonna set this aside. Whoever wins has to be present. Just remember that. Oop. Gecko time, is it gecko time? Did somebody, did somebody spend points on a gecko? Did I miss it? Whiffle? <laughs> you guys are being so silly. Oh, you did 30 minutes? Okay, let me get out a gecko, hold on. Let me see who is available, who is, I can get out. Oh, they're both out, you wanna, you wanna see, let's see peppercorn, we haven't seen peppercorn in a while. It's been mostly ginger biscuit. 
she's like, I don't want you to touch me. She's like, don't touch me. Okay, I got peppercorn. She's a lot less sensitive to light. There she is. She's a good girl. She's like, yeah, she's licking her lips. She's not happy. She's not happy. I know you're mad at me. Stop it. I do this slow blink at her and that calms her down. Like a cat. Why are you being so silly? Why are you being so silly? Oh, ooh, she's not happy with me. Did you guys see that? I'm gonna put her back. I do not want her to bite me. And she kind of snapped at me right there. <laughs> All right, let me get out the biscuit because she's a little bit easier to deal with. Why are you being so feisty? Pepper peppercorn is spicy. She's so mad. All right, there's Biscuit. She's not as fussy. She's a little bit blinky. But yeah. Ginger Biscuit is just an easier gecko. Mom, every other day you're grabbing at me and making me sit under the lights. Yes, I'm tired of Mom. Exactly. Look at that tail. <laughs> All right, let's look at her under this. We just, she just had a shed recently. She's a good girl. She's got a nice chubber tail. Close the door. Mike's like, close the door. All right, I'm going to put them both back. So I don't get yelled at by Mike and yelled at by Peppercorn. They are both back. And they're, you know, what it is is, this is their bedtime. They, they are not like, they don't, I mean, would you want somebody to wake you up in the middle of the night? <laughs> All right. We're ready to paint. I'm ready to paint. Let's put the headphones back on so I can. Did anybody. Um, well, I'm going to switch the music so we can listen to some chill tunes. Give me a second here. All right. She did. She already shed. Um, it was uh, Ginger Biscuit that just shed recently. Peppercorn is nowhere. She just shed recently, too. So they should. I think she's just fussy because I haven't handled her in a while. Because she's been in the little cork tube every time. She doesn't like to be handled. And I think she was not happy about it. She's like hissing at me. So it's funny because she does that little that's the most she's ever done. She's never bit me, but I tend to like, I leave her alone when she hisses at me. All right, there we go. There's some chill music. Gecko paws. They, <laughs> maybe, I doubt it. She's only three, she's only three years old. So they live to be like 15 or 20. <laughs> do they have a she shed? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> and I, when I'm dragging them out of it, they don't like it. All right, I'm gonna show you, hmm, this is the part where things can get chalky, okay? So I've got a light color, and I'm gonna try to follow the light, right? Let's add some layers, and you can see right away it does chalk up. And that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to handle that in a second here. I keep it thin. That way, when I do finally do something about it, there we go. So I'm blocking in my, my light, and I need to keep my brush pointed a little bit more. Second layer is even lighter, 
right? This is an awesome model. Look at the sides of this. He's a beast. He's very cut. We were talking yesterday about how he has never eaten a carb. Uh oh, I'm getting scratches. That's not good. I gotta be more careful. Mic works great. Yep, the mic work does work. This is a new mic, and it's mic. It, my mic helped me get it set up, and he's an awesome person for doing that. And I would not have been able to do that without him, because I know nothing about tech. Uh oh, what happened? There goes my music. That was weird. My my computer kind of hiccup. Pat draws. If you um if you kind of yeah, he's never eaten a car. <laughs> he ate the whole damn motor. <laughs> no, like a carbohydrate. He's he's he eats a low carb diet. That's why he's so so cut. All right, give me a second here. I need to kind of get into the zone a little bit. Otherwise, I'm gonna have lots of brush strokes that I'm gonna have to get rid of later. All right, now here's a little bit of that lighter color. I'm gonna whip blend that in. adding some colors and some nuances in here just kind of like I did with the face so I'm gonna put a little bit of this magenta on my palette I'm also going to put um, a little bit of blue on my palette and a little bit of yellow and those of you guys who have taken my skin tones class know why that is not the right color yellow I'm gonna put that on there anyway, because I might need that later. That's a pretty color, Naples yellow. Where's my, this is a pastel yellow that I want. Hope it is anyway, yep, perfect. Look at that. Ooh, too much. And a little bit of primary blue. If I can get it open, there we go. Give me one second and I'll check chat. Uh, well, yeah, we'll put that on there. Usually I use a more turquoisey color, but I can mix a little bit of yellow in there and then I can make it turquoise. Right? Watch. Yellow and blue make green, and then we have a turquoisey color. Right? And then I'm going to add a little flesh to it. And then it's the light turquoise color, which is exactly what I want. A little bit more yellow. Probably need more blue in that. There we go. There we go. That's the turquoise I wanted. All right, I'm gonna look at chat. Is the discard link broken again? It works. Oh, good. I thought you got turquoise by mixing a turtle and a tortoise. <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> thank you, Panther, Panther for Reese. All right, I want you to watch. Miklas, thank you for the host. This is glazes. This is, when I get into um, the rest, I'm going to be you know temperature adjusting temperatures and stuff okay i'm going to use some of this upper color with a little bit of this there we go i'm going to mix a little bit of this orange with a little bit of that magenta so i can use that and i'm going to put this in some of the deeper shadows but i'm glazing it in because the magenta is very strong Okay. I'm not sure that's going to work or not. We'll see. I'm 
kind of going over some of these crevices. I'm, I'm just glazing it like a watercolorist. Making sure it's smooth. Hold on a second. What? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, Mike's going to fly. All right, and I'm putting in these this this magenta in places where I want to add a little bit of warmth and like blood flow, basically. So he's going to have quite a bit here. Kind of glazing it over that green luckily the green cancels out some of that red so it will end up looking more on the brown end of things but it's a thin glaze okay and i'm gonna let that dry it's just gonna be a little bit of tea stain tide marks whatever you want to call it but not too much see how it looks on this side um, put some more down in here. Mainly it's acting like a filter for all that all that green. And I'm gonna go ahead and glaze that over. Now that thin color, amount of color glazed over that top of your chalkiness is how I get rid of some of that chalkiness, right? I'm assuming since he's running, he's in like a warlike state that there's a lot more red on this is maybe not what you would do you wouldn't have so much red on a model that's like reclining and laying down and not exercising so I'm adding a little bit more red because he is in a activated warlike posture right am I doing any classes I don't know yet Renru I kind of need to play things out I do class, I mean, I'm teaching here for free all the time. You know what I mean? I have to figure out whether, what it's gonna, what I'm gonna get out of it. You know what I mean? You thought it was broke? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, don't start drinking, Pat. Yeah, Tess, I see you, I see you. Did you guys have a, a twitch hiccup there for a minute? Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit more of this orangey. Let's see, that's too orangey. Just gonna have to pick that back up because it's not the right. I need to, it needs to be more of a glaze. So see, I got rid of that. So when I make a mistake, I kind of try to dab it back up. All right, we're getting there though with this skin, aren't we? Um, let's do the yellow. So the yellow is a pastel yellow, and I'm going to mix that with my base color a little bit. And I'm going to paint the yellow in places where the sunlight is hitting. Right? And I'm just, right now, I'm just blocking this in so I know where, where the light is going. And I'll go in later and add more later. I'm painting it like a canvas.
see how that yellow pops up and that's because it's warm and the green is cool and so what it does is it will make the green recede I'm trying to blend this nice but do you see how it looks like a natural skin tone now because we've got these layers this layer here makes it seem like the skin is translucent right because yellow is a translucent color as well and starting at the top of the muscle because the other part's going to have a shadow right This is where the light is hitting, and then it's less prominent the further down you go. Now, especially on bellies, I like to do this little spot here and then right underneath it there's always a little belly highlight right here right oh we got a YouTube subscriber thank you whoever that is whenever you get to see the little zombie it means somebody subscribed to me on YouTube which is great okay Trying to add a little bit more yellow to this flesh color here. See, only on the top of the muscle because that's where the sunlight is hitting. And then blend it in. looks like skin doesn't it look at the difference <laughs> I got to be more careful on these smaller muscles that are closer to the shadows because there's a lot more contrast and I want to be careful about how that looks I might have to go back into my other colors a little bit. Bear with me. beautiful you have to be very picky about where the light is so that it's in the right spots notice I'm putting more on this side because this side is not as, as highlighted right so then this side is getting the highlights he looks like a man he looked like a man Thankfully, he doesn't have any nips, so I don't have to get in trouble with Twitch. You've learned a lot just from watching my streams. Awesome. So the basic size you work on is, so is the basic size you work on, or do you prefer teeny tiny, almost undiscernible minis? <laughs> Pat, what do you think? What, <laughs> what do you think? That's a silly question. We have, uh, we, I work on all kinds of minis. 
I work on minis as small as, you know, as, as a Space Marine, and then I work on the bigger minis. I really like the bigger minis on stream, but I work on all things. Um, on stream, bigger minis just make more sense because you can see them better. They just show up better, less hassle. But I paint everything, right? Yeah, the air from uh, Nocturna is really pretty. I really enjoyed painting her. Thank you. All right, so you can see there's some chalkiness, but that's okay. That's expected. It's when it dries, it always does that. What I'm gonna do to alleviate that is I have some Reichland Flesh Shade. Reichland Flesh Shade has a little matte medium it has the a little ink i think and it has some maybe some other kind of medium i'm not sure what the exact composition of it is Let's see do i have a little lando the arch magi oh did i forget to i forgot to write down somebody hold on oh and funky funky luxury just followed us a while back i missed that thank you so much funky luxury i'm sorry i missed your follow i didn't see that um, Lando, the Arch Magi. Welcome. Thank you so much for your two month streak and your four months of subbing for love and for geckos and for friendship. Hold on a second. I have to find a wet palette or a dry palette. Be right back. I'm going to go get one. Got a bunch over here. You can put some Reikland Flesh Shade in it. Has everybody gotten up and stretched a little bit? Okay, Reikland Flesh Shade. Or you can use a little ink. Whatever it is, it needs to be transparent. Okay, because we're going to create a filter. And I'm just going to use this. This is too thick as is. So I'm going to add a little bit of water and that's about the density of the water, right? Okay. So when you see it on the model, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, Funky Luxury was a YouTuber. That's cool. Okay. So then I'm going to paint this over his skin. It's going to do two things. It's going to kind of blur and melt all of the other layers together into one. It's gonna create a little bit of a filter in that way. It's also going to um, give it a little bit of a gloss, not gloss, but satin finish, because skin is not matte, right? You don't want matte skin, it doesn't look right. I don't like it anyway. See how that changes everything? For now, I'm just gonna put it on the spots where I need it, okay? That, I'm gonna let that dry. And then I can come back in here with some of my color here while it's drying a little bit and blend that in. Ah, brushes are flying. Okay, what did I do? I used ochre, I used a little bit of this, and I used a little bit of that. There we go. Need more of that color. I'm remixing my base color here with the colors I used before. It's got a little bit more yellow in it now. That's okay, because skin just has layers, right? And I am drawing and sketching that layer on. Which will likely be a little bit chalky, just because of the uh, yellow in it. The yellow might make it a little bit chalky, but it's okay. I'm 
Okay. Remember that turquoise? The turquoise is going to go in some spots to cool things down. Right? And I always like to cool things down in the armpits. It always makes it look more Caucasian. And I don't know what it is, but we have a little bit of this blue cold Caucasianness, you know? And it makes us look more, it makes it, the skin look a little bit more realistic when that blue is in there. mixes with the peach though and it turns kind of gray but then it looks more natural we've got a lot in this collarbone because that's where all that shadow is here a lot under the jawline a good amount on the ch on the chin and everything where a beard would be except for he doesn't really have a beard does he he's a he's a young boy He's a lack beard. And here in the elbow pits of the arms. I really love this whole thing all over here. Isn't that, do you see how it just melts? It's just, I don't know what it does, but it's, it's, it's luscious, it's awesome. I might wanna go back in with some of my light yellow here and pick out a few little highlights. With just the pure yellow. That's beautiful. Tell me if this um, technique makes sense. Aw, thank you for the follow. Otter, Ma Otter Mama 3. We've been getting a lot more ladies following me and commenting. I think it's because of uh, this awesome specimen of man, man torso. Pull it back and so you can see. And that needs to get, eventually needs to get lighter and lighter, right? Until we have like little bright, contrasty bits. Of this light, light flesh in here. I don't want it to get too chalky and pasty white. Now, see when I put that on there, then I can come back and kind of glaze it up. looking good and then if I get something that's too bright right I come back with my mid color and kind of tame it down a little bit it's a lot of back and forth side pretty well but I need to get this side too to make it look even I 
Okay, his, now his neck muscles are a little bit weak. Let's see if we can build up some of those highlights here. I sketch them in first, and I'm keeping an eye on where my light is, right? So only this side of that cable is going to get a highlight, not the whole side, right? Let's use some more darker colors down here. Because more light is going to be hitting this whole region. really good. That's why I wanted to paint him so much because I just love painting skin. Watching you really makes me want to finish my bare chested hobgoblin. Saturdays are now my dedicated painted days. Does a wet palette work the same as if I added drying retardant? No. No Panther Fabrice, it's different. Che, che, filter. Okay, wash or filter? Um, hmm, I missed that, so I'm not sure. I've been getting some cool looking minis only to find out that less than, they are less than two inches tall and your eyes go bonkers. Yes, my eyes go bonkers as well. So you're learning that you need to look for 54 larger. So I have to take my glasses off. Thank you for the follow, Pat Draws. How are you? Thank you, Rebel Star Raider. He is looking good. I'm happy. So now here's a, this is a, a section where we're gonna have to go back in with the, with the wash. This is the Reichland Flesh shape. Come back in over that. And we're gonna see how that melts up. looks really good. So I got pretty light with his torso, but his neck is lacking. There we go. Alright, let's go to his back. Now, the light is still coming from this side. So, when we go to paint, we need to reflect that. I need some more. Right? Filter is a term Gunpla and Scale Modeler folks use for a layer of translucent color applied over another paint to tie everything together. Often seems to be used interchangeably with wash. Yes, it is. That's exactly right. As a, so I'm a trained watercolorist, and I don't like the term wash with miniatures because it means something completely different in watercolor, right? This technically is, is more of a glaze than a wash, technically. So I call it a filter so that I'm showing you that this is a specific thing that it's doing. And I, and I, you could, cause you can glaze with opaque paints as well, which is similar to what I'm doing. All right, I need to slow down here. And these, these paints, there we go. Having trouble reaching. There we go. There. I 
right is hitting him. He's an anatomy wonder. He's awesome. The music makes me want to paint too fast. It's so funny. It works. It's like a battle. Now, actually, see, if you look at the model, this part of the back is, is out more, so it's actually going to get a little bit more light than the top of the model. Not a lot, but a little bit. This part up here will get more. Yeah, it's looking natural, though. Sometimes it's good to take a step back and look at the model again. Look at both sides. See, this side has the filters on it, and it's a lot better. Okay. I'm going to take some of that magenta again. Some of the magenta in his in his ribs, just to make that a little bit more intense. All right, I need a second. I need a second to look at him with my glasses on. Sneaky, hello. Yeah, I did too. Sneaky, exact same amount too. All right, let's take a look at him. Front's looking amazing. I'm really happy with the front. Back is coming along. He needs some more filter. As you can see, he's looking a little bit chalky. Just a little bit. I think I need to do some magenta. The magenta and the orange on here. Ooh, that's really red. I always forget. Moving out that layer so that it's not not giving me any lines. A little bit behind his head too. And I imagine some of his head is going to be a little bit on the reddish end because so he is working up a, a sweat and then definitely on his on the backs of his ears for sure uh, make that a little bit lighter that's a bit intense for ears there we go I need to make more of that magenta on his ears over here Okay, now I'm going to get in here with the yellow and see about making some of these little highlights. Mm. 
and smooth that out. Tell me what time is it? We're probably getting close to being able to do whip trips. Yeah, I think we're, we might end a little early today because this, this model is very tiresome to do on stream. He is a beast. He's a beast, people. Literally. Okay. It's looking good, though. I think I like... I love this. I just need to replicate it back here. Somebody told me he looks like a movie model, and I think he could be, he could be. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I want to fix his little hoof. He got messed up. Where's my dark color? This, this is my hoof color. It's called dark brown ochre, which is weird because I don't really feel like it's an ochre at all. some of that on this tail too. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of makes the, changes the tail a little bit, doesn't it? side real quick. Getting the little tips there. Yeah, I like that a lot. keeps it looking black without looking like stark. Okay. Oh, that is a that is wearing me out. Claudia Boss, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How are you? Reminds you of Jason and the Argonauts. Yes, it does. I remember that. It's You're doing your math while you watch this. That's great. Yeah, Ray, Harry Hughes and know how to design them. All right, hold on. I'm going to switch music because it's a little bit, a little bit too much here. We're going to go to something a little bit more chill. Turn it down just a skosh. All right. Let's talk, um, let's talk about this raffle. Let's do this. No, let's do the whip trips. All right, we're going to go to whip trips now. And good, good. Hit us up with EDM, EDM Chill. Okay, let's do EDM Chill. Let's do this one. This is my favorite. There we go. Can you hear it? There we go. That's nice. All right, so we're gonna do whip trips. Everybody, put your stuff! Exclamation! Well, I don't know if the, I don't know if the um, the command is working. Let me try it. Ex 
exclamation point whip trip there we go it's working it's, it is working okay also we're still doing a raffle so claudia boss if you want to enter we're having a raffle you have to be present to win and you have to be a follower which you are one now and we're giving away a model from creature caster it's the twins so let's go ahead and go to our Discord, which I just linked. So if you haven't already put in some, um, if you haven't put your pictures in there, it doesn't have to be models. It can be, it can be other things. Just you know, keep it to be. Let's see here. For my in works no, no, no. Hold on. live image gallery is the gallery that we're choosing there we go okay today is the first so I'm gonna choose all the pictures from the first and on there's been a lot of cool pictures in, in here that I wish I could show but they're not from today wait here's today okay here we go. Wenru, Kevison, today, 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 today. Okay. All right, spear. Oh, spear. Spice cinnamon buns. We're all going to be dying over these spice cinnamon buns. Okay, and then Rumble has some Bot Wars bots. That's funny, that's Bot Wars. Ooh, those are awesome looking. I like those colors. Mikolas has a fire demon from Reaper. And Teveston has an evil clown from Dark Star. That's cute as heck. And then he also has some Pino Death. I'm going to pull up all Teveston's stuff. He's got some gardening. Amazing looking gardening, which I wish I could do. And then lastly, I'll pull up Renru. And then we're going to look at these and then we're going to pull up some more. Renru. I think that's enough. Okay. So let's take a look at these spiced cinnamon buns. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna drool. You got nothing new to share? Share something old then. So there's people in the channel that haven't seen your stuff. Rubbish. Share something anyway, okay? Hold on here. Look trip. There we go. Look at this! Are you drooling yet? I'm drooling got the egg wash on there he's got the cinnamon glaze that looks so good yummy I'm gonna do some baking tonight I think I'm gonna bake donuts I got a donut pan looks amazing All right, I think that's from Tevison let me double check oh no that's spear 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 point posted the buns those look good You didn't do too much. That's okay, Panther. Post oh, something anyway. Post something else. If you took a walk and you saw some cool birds, post that instead. This is from, I think this is from Rumble. Yep, Rumble's Bot War Bots. A color scheme is 80s Transformer. And that is absolutely appropriate and looks great. And I love the weathering on the, on these, um, What are these called? Be uh, belts, like conveyor belt things. They look good in the weathering on here too. Looks great. They look like transformers. Bot were bots. That's really cool. Really nice job. And also, I, I really like over here. It looks like you've done some dark lining, which that makes that really pop out a lot. Good. Okay, Mikolas is next. And he has this demon that he's been working on for a little bit. Look at this. Now he did do the dark lining because I told him to last time we talked about it. He, look at the dark lining. See on the sword, it really makes a difference in making that kind of pop. And on the shield, let's look at the back. The wet blending on the wings looks really good. I 
know, just some kind of whip. We should do some, maybe some wet blending on that as well. And maybe, maybe as a, as a contrast, go with, um, maybe a, like a greeny colored turquoise on that whip. That'll contrast that red and that green a lot. I don't know, that's just me spitballing. Turn the music down? Okay, I will. Wait a second. Let's do it here. There, is that better? Much better. Can you hear, can you, is it still loud to you? Yeah. That's better? Good, okay. Yeah, it's better for me too. You were drowned out, I was. <laughs> Okay, next is Teveston's Evil Clown, and he says it's from Dark Star. And then he's got Easter Aya next. Let's look at Teveston's Evil Clown. That is gonna be really creepy when you get done with the Teveston. I think, I think um, if I'm gonna give you some advice on this, I know it's not even close to being done, but a wash, just to pick out all of the shadows that are gonna be on his fabric here and on this collar and on the flowers I'm not sure what color wash but hmm maybe maybe a dark purple on the blue and maybe a dark brown on the yellow I mean it's tricky you want something that kind of um, unifies it but it's they're opposites almost, so they're not really going to unify that well with a wash. Katie, an Easter Aya is next, and she is in a present that you're building as her base and some of your garden. Okay, oh, that looks amazing. That is so nice. Ty, Ty says, why, why? This is not how I wanted to return from Lurk. Oh, Ty, we're doing um, we're doing Whip Trip Friday. Every Friday we show off everybody in the channel's work. So if you have some work you want to show off, please put it in. Uh, here, I'll do exclamation point Whip Trip for you. There you go. You're not missing anything because I'm not painting right now. But um, every Friday we do this. It's really great. And that, that is a really cute Easter Aya. That's why you complained. You complained because you don't have anything to share. Aw. <laughs> Do you have like any gardening? Like here, this is this is um, the garden that a Teveston is working on. I wanna know what you got planted in there, Teveston. It looks like some peppers, maybe? Can't quite tell. Looks like peppers. Those are tomatoes. Is that say made in the USA? Teveston, are you in the USA? Isn't that funny? Oh, that looks like squash or pumpkin. Maybe zucchini, maybe? That's cool. And then this it belongs to um, Renru. Renru. In fact, I gotta get the, the other piece opened up here. This one is the back. Oh, wow. Beautiful wet blending Renru. Let's look at the front again. Good night. That is really pretty. That's going to be really nice. I like the, the colors you chose a lot. And the blending is beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing her done. She's a little bitty girl, isn't she? Your finger looks huge next to her. All right, give me one second. I'm going to pause here a second. Nope, all done by hand. Yeah, somebody asked her if it was airbrush. It, it does look smooth. That's for sure. She's 32 millimeter. Ah, okay. He's a West Coaster. <laughs> I like that. Lamunas knows where everybody's at. Okay, let's see here. All right, let me, let's look at, I'm going to pull up some more. <gasps> Serenity Brush. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Hello, everybody. We are doing a special um, Friday uh, portion of our stream where we show off 
all of the nifty things that all of our community is working on right now. So it doesn't have to be a model. If you can, if you want to post um, something to show off and show and tell, and it also uh, Serenity, I want to see if you what you've been working on. If you have time to stick around for a minute, you can show off what you've been doing. Yeah, hi. I want to say hi to some of the people who just joined us from Serenity Flesh. Welcome everybody. Like I said, we're doing Whip Trip Friday. I'm going to show you real quick what I've been working on today. We have been painting this beautiful centaur man. We've been working on his skin this whole stream. And last last stream, we um, we worked on the horse body. So you can... Aw, oh, greetings from Germany. Hello. Wie geht es dir, Serenity Z's brush? Mir geht es gut. Mein Deutsch ist noch nicht sehr gut. <laughs> mein Aussprache ist schlecht. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were working on this and you can go back in the VODs and look and see how we did that. Alles klar, ja. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to show off what you've been working on, we're going we're gonna to show. Ich liebe es, wenn du Deutsch sprichst. Es klingt süß. Ah, oh, danke. Dr. Ben Decker. Ah. Oh. Halflings like bitte. Now everybody's speaking German in the chat. It's it's awesome. Ja, sehr gut. Here in the chat, let me let me put let me give you the link. So here's the link where you can post it. You can join our Discord. There we go. Or if you want to post a link to uh, one of our moderators, you can send it to, um, it looks like Lamunis is still here. You can whisper to him if you don't have time to post it in the Discord. There it is. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up some more and we're going to look at some more things here from Evil Halfling. Evil Halfling is next. And then 814 Punk. I'm opening up everybody's images so that I can show off. We do show and tell on Fridays. Oh, wow. That rinse wind looks amazing, Percy. That is beautiful. Bando the Arch Magi. Okay. Let's take a look. This is by Evil Halfling right here. Let me go back to my face cam. There we go. Now we can do whip trips. This is by Evil Halfling. Yeah, send it to send it to Lumunus if you want to send a link. Send Renity's brush. Send it to Lumunus. This is a, a, a mammoth by. And it looks really nice. Is that is that by? Um, it's a mastodon. Sorry, not a mammoth. A mastodon from Evil Halfling. Good job on the fur. Very nice. Looks woolly. <laughs> This is, oh, this is looking cool. What a neat model. This is by 814 Punk. And it looks like you just started it. Got some of the skin done. Good job. Good job. I like it. And then, oh, wow. Very beautiful. Wait, what is this guy? This is by Jorasat. He's trying ochre yellow, yellow ochre skin. So Jorah's, if you watch today's VOD, or today's uh, stream, you can use a lot of the same techniques that I use. But Jorah's a great painter, so maybe he doesn't want, <laughs> want to copy me. Look at this. Um, I can't really zoom in too much, but the belt, it looks perfect. Looks very good. I can't wait to see it finished. Very nice, Jorah. Oh, and I love this bust. This is by um, Percy. Percy, it's Rince, Rince Wind, or Rince, Rince Wind, I'm not sure how we pronounce that. Very, very nice. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit. We can look at that. Beautiful. And the, that's nice. Very good job. This is Land of the Arch Magi. He's working on some. Troopers, I guess I don't know for sure what game. Looks like maybe 
40k or 30k or I can't tell. That looks pretty good though. Alright. Hang on one second. I'm gonna. Alright, let's look at this Instagram link from Serenity Fresh. Hold on here. I'm gonna open this. Oh, <laughs> it's in German. That's cool. Ah, very nice. Let's look at some of these models. All right, I'm going to switch over to Serenity Fresh. Here we go. Is this the one? This is your most recent. That's awesome. Oh, the turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's awesome. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw something. Big B's... Pupchen Pupchen. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I think that means uh, Big B's pretty puppy. I think. I'm not sure. Handsome puppy. Oh, that's awesome. Very nice. Sehr gut. Sehr schön. Schönes Bild. I like the flames on the on the feet. The greens look really good together. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Serenity's Brush. It's good to see. You. And he's got his own Twitch, so you can follow him on uh, twitch.tv slash Serenity's Brush. Auch <laughs> All right. So let's see. Who else do we have here? 30K Space Wolves. Ah, that's what you were doing. Okay, good. Puppet painter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Puppet painter. <laughs> See, I told you my German's not so good. I, I'm, I'm learning though. I'm still practicing. All right, I'm going to close down these other and we're going to open up some more. We have a few more left in the queue. Ooh, Pat draws. Whoa. That's awesome. We'll get some more by... I'm so excited to show this off, Pat. I love 2D art. More, more Lando stuff. And then Rev, Rev Q. Oh, wow, this beautiful Rev. Beautiful, I love the colors. Panther. Oh, nice. Wow, you guys are doing so much work. And then Rubbish Booty. A couple of whips for his, and a cross stitch. Oh my gosh, I love it. You're very talented, rubbish. He, he calls himself rubbish, but we don't. We say we say that he's actually goodish booty, goodish booty, not rubbish booty. Okay, let's look here. This is amazing. I'm so excited to see this. It's a squig. It's a couple squigs, and a goblin and a mushroom. That is awesome. And that is by. Should rename. What's his name? Pat Draws. Very nice. Yeah, it is very good. It's extremely good. I really enjoy it. And that's all computer drawn. I cannot draw with the computer to save my life. That was done last year. Very nice. I'm glad you shared it. This is by Lando the Arch Magi. This is the 40k space wolves that he's doing 30k space wolves oh okay <gasps> before they went all wolfy that's so cool and then this is by um rev rev q rev q did this very nice let's see the other angle look at that what where is this from is this from judgment it looks familiar. He looks amazing. He's so tiny though. He can't be from Judgment. I want to know. Yeah. Beast Man? Maybe, yeah. It might be. Yeah, you should rename to slightly rubbish booty. He's not even rubbish at all. Yeah, because he got it. Yeah, he, he, he changed it to goodish after he got a golden demon. 
Blackstone Fortress. Okay, Blackstone Fortress is where this model is from. That's cool. I like it. I think you're doing amazing and I have no advice for you right now. <laughs> the only advice maybe is to uh, integrate this grass with the base a little bit and maybe paint both of them or paint or get like add a wash to it so it ties it together. That's I like the painting just fine. This is by um, Panther Panther Varese, I think. Yep, Panther. And she does all these models that are just amazing. This is a whole modeling is a whole nother skill. I'm not so good at. Oh wow, that camouflage is really stunning. I wish I could zoom in on that. I can't zoom on that. Good camouflage. Good job, Panther. This is Rubbish rubbish Booties, um, Sisters of Battle. And he's been doing, he, these are works in progress. This one I think might be done, this one in the corner. She's got a little mask, and, or maybe it's this one. One of them that has a mask is almost done. And this is Rubbish's cross stitch, and he is so talented. In fact, I have a cross stitch that Rub Rubbish Booty did. I commissioned him to make a Yoda that says do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pull those down. Yeah, it's really, he's really good. And it, it takes some time to get to be good at, at cross stitch. Very, very good. All right, let's see. What else we've got? We got the shark by Critical Dom. That's amazing. We got the knife by Oh, Diomedes. Beautiful. I love it. The handle on that one is gorgeous. But I know you didn't do the handle, but you did the sheath. Either way, that whole set is fantastic. Knife by Fifty One Bravo. Sheath by me. Okay, we got those. Those are the only things left, and then we're gonna do our giveaway. So stay here. Let's look at this shark. The shark is by Critical Dom. Look at that. It looks cool as heck. Where did you get that model, Critical Dom? That is fun. Very sharky. It almost looks like a plastic repaint. It could be. He repainted it. That's by Critical Dom. And this is the knife. So Diomedes Industries does leather working, and you should give him a follow. He's extremely talented as, as a craftsman. And he works together with these knife makers. Look at this knife. That is insane. That is so, so beautiful. I don't know how they do that rippling in there, but that's amazing. And the handle, it goes so well with that sheath. Now, did they send you the sheath and then you make the, do they, sorry, do they send you the knife and then you make the sheath for it specifically? I imagine that's what they do. Yeah, it does look like a fantasy game. Jumping shark shark. <gasps> ah, it's from WizKids for their D&D stuff. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. It is a cool knife and sheath. All right, Diomedes is not answering. There he is. Yes, my brother was the knife maker. Whoa, that is so cool. Keep it in the family. That's so neat. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. He, I had carte blanche on the sheath. Damascus, yes, beautiful. I might have to um, commission both of you one day because I would love something like that. In Illinois, um, I believe um, knives have to be under four inches long in order to be able to carry them um, or have them. I can't remember. It has to be under four. I'll have to look at the rules because it might have changed. That was a long time ago. But yeah, let's let's figure out who our winner is for our giveaway. Everybody stretch. My goodness, my poor back. I can feel it all crackling. You own lots of blades. You would love one of those. I know a lot of people. So Coddle Rodick also collects swords. And I don't know if he collects blades, but he collects swords. And... He's really into that too. It's too late to enter the raffle, Lord Fitch. We, oh no, it isn't. Enter the raffle right now. 
Everybody who wants to enter, quickly enter. Um, yeah, do X. Let's see. I don't know if we can do the thing. One winner will be chosen to enter. Creature Caster Twins model must be present to win. Um, the raffle is going on for viewers to enter exclamation point raffle to enter. So you just have to be a follower in order to win. And there you go. Just enter exclamation point raffle. And then I'm going to end the raffle here in just a second. You good? You're good. Okay, you're in. Let me go ahead and find out. Has everybody entered who wants to enter? And I can ship this anywhere. So you don't, you can be in Europe too. It just might take a little longer to get to you. Because of your postage, not ours. Ours is going, ours, ours is still going pretty good. There's no tickets, Rumble. Just do exclamation point raffle. Exclamation point raffle. Not potatoes. I thought that may show their entries. Uh, I'll tell you. I can tell you. Everybody who is a subscriber gets two entries. Everybody who is a follower gets one entry. So your odds are a little better if you're a subscriber. Waffles. All right, we're ready. I'm going to end this now. You guys are being so silly. All right, you can no longer enter the raffle. Are you guys ready? Pancakes? <laughs> All right, we're going to pick a winner. So you have to be present to win. Zen for one. Zen for one. Are you here? Say something in chat if you are here. Okay? It's not rigged. Stop that. It's so stupid. The bot picks it. Zen for one, are you here? Obviously, if it were really rigged. Okay, Zen for one is here. Woot woot. Zen for one, send me a message. If you want it, it's easiest if you can send it to me on Facebook. Uh, but if you don't have Facebook, then send it to me on Twitch. And send me a message with your uh, shipping info so I can send it away to you. Are you, do you happen to be from the U.S.? Just curious to find out like how long it's going to take to get to you. If you are from the U.S., it'll take just a few days. It gets there really fast. All right. Before everybody leaves, we are going, yeah, it's not, yeah, <laughs> otherwise the Lunas would win. <laughs> All right. Before we go, I'm going to find somebody awesome to host here. Hold on one second. We're going to go. And also, we will be back on Monday, so if you are watching this and you would like to catch more of the centaur being painted, come back on Monday, 2.30 to 5.30, GMT minus 6, and that's Central Time Zone, Chicago time. Um, I'm on here one day, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so here we go. I'm going to look for an awesome person to raid. Let's see. Oh, now Lindy is on. I think we're going to either her or get giggle, giggling to get. Yeah, I think we're going to raid now Lindy because I love her. She's awesome. She's really sweet too. You're going to love her. All right, raiding channel, guys. And so get ready. When I, when I get all set, we're going to punch that raid button. There she Oh, it looks. Wait, wait. She's playing World of Warcraft. Do we want? Let me pick somebody else. Let's pick uh, Giggling Get since Melindy is gaming. There she is, Giggling. It's not spelled Giggling, right? There we go. Looks like she's painting Warhammer. Good job. All right, we're going to raid. Punch that button. We're going to go ahead and say hi to Giggling Get. And um, I will see you guys on Monday. And you have a great weekend, okay? Get a lot of painting done. And we will see you again soon, all right? There you go. Bye, guys.